Uh, markets are fine, but sugar as a sector has done very well today. But almost without exception, stocks like Triveni, Balrampur, Bajaj Hindustan are up and up very substantially, as you can see on your screen. The genesis is that now there is talk that the sugar production might actually be as low as 14 million tons, which could spike or lead to big spikes in the price of sugar. Are those reports founded? Vivek Saraoghi, Managing Director of Balram Puccini, is with us to talk about that. Vivek, afternoon. Thanks for joining in. We've been hearing some scary numbers every every two months. The production estimate get, keeps getting scaled down by 2 million tons each time. But is it really 14 million tons? Good afternoon. Yeah, the official figure now is, I think, almost 14.2. <laughs> so what's the, what's the real figure likely to be? Yeah, uh, around this range, 142, 143, I mean 14.2, 14.3, because season's almost drawn to a close. Yeah. There's a lot of diversion to good and Kansari, which are the alternate sweetness. So sugar production can be pegged at these levels now, for sure. Now, there won't be any variation. What does that mean for prices, uh, Vivek? Uh, w would that mean that this kind of a poor crop would lead to a significant hardening of prices? Yeah, Udyan, I mean, uh, if you assume that the domestic product uh, consumption is where it is, and um, even next year we are looking at a revival in production, but not some kind of, uh, you know, levels to where demand is. So prices should remain strong only going ahead. Vivek, afternoon. <laughs> what does that mean in terms of real prices? How much of an increase have you already seen, and how much of an, of an improvement do you think we can see? See, if, uh, yeah, do I have two minutes to go into another aspect? If you promise to give me a price at the end, yes. <laughs> okay, I, I promise to. Okay, see, if you see UP, the cost of production of mills, even like ours, which is efficient. I mean, nobody has a cost of production below 22 and a half rupees. So if you want to revive cane and stop India from being a perennial <laughs> importer, you've got to pay the farmer next year also. And if you want to pay the farmer and want to pay him higher, you've got to live with a cost plus price. So having said that and having sold sugar in the first six months of our financial year, which is October to March, I think prices, even if they move up to X mill levels of 24, 25, should be extremely acceptable. Because at, mm -hmm. at an average, you'll get this level only. What exactly is happening with the global market situation though, Vivek? Where are you seeing raw sugar quoting at per ton in terms of global rates? See, raw sugar is not only dependent on India. Yes, India will, I feel, play a considerably important role in the raw sugar prices as we move ahead. Because we will need raw sugar next year. And, you know, people will start calling for that and having it in their go-downs before the season begins. So raw sugar physically should start moving into India, which should improve raw sugar prices. There is some feeling that Brazil crop is very high. I don't think that should happen because you have a lot of ethanol only facilities in Brazil. So I see global markets trended up, local markets trended up. I heard you say that next year will be better but not a whole lot better. On this base of 14 million, what do you think we can achieve next year? 16 to 18? More or less? Uddiyan, 18 is a reasonable expectation. Okay. And what do you expect in terms of policy, Vivek, after the central elections? Uh, because this time the, the outcome is a little uncertain. Do you see sugar policy being influenced considerably by which faction comes into power? Because that would be quite material for you as well. No, I think uh, I personally wouldn't feel that way, that, you know, it's going to be a change of fortunes with a change in government for sugar that way. But I do feel whichever government comes in would now, since they would have five years in hand, would look at a whole lot of, you know, uh, policies in a composite manner. See, be it decontrol, linking sugar price to cane price, which is our, you know, demand. We are there in court for all this also. So I do see some kind of a wholesome policy coming in, hopefully, definitely. This 24 to 25 price, uh, Vivek, would get reflected in which quarter for you specifically? No, I mean, we are not there yet. So I <laughs> hope May, June. Okay. Mm. So Vivek, what would you uh, at this point envisage the next year top line and bottom line picture like? I mean, if, if we assume that 
the overall quantity of sugar that you sell is much lower, but prices will be higher. What does it mean for top line? And do you think you will be profitable if your estimate of uh, reaching 24, 25 by May, June comes out to be true? See, Udin, I'll have to put it in this manner. In this year, we have already sold sugar in the first six months. And we would sell sugar in the next six months. So on an average, I don't think we'd lose money at 22 and a half cost of production, hopefully. And bottom line, I mean, you know, you have profitability on stocks which was there last year. So even at these price levels, you're not like making a whole lot of money on sugar as a business this year. Your byproducts mm -hmm. would, you know, every any company who has a byproduct business would continue to retain the benefit of that. But the top line would fall because production is much lower. Just one question unrelated to price moves right now, Vivek. Some of your peers in the sugar space are suffering from very large uh, debt issues. They're leveraged many times over. Do you see that situation alleviating at all over the next couple of quarters if demand uh, is at such a huge gap to production, if prices continue to improve a little bit? See, uh, I can't comment for anyone else. I can only say, you know, if sugar price moves up, it it helps everybody to be able to meet his, you know, debt obligation and or the interest on the debt obligation, mm. which is important, you know. Do you, I just, just want to end by asking you one broad question, Vivek. Um, do you think the worst is over for the mm. sugar sector? If you're saying that production troughs out this year at 14 million, after which it starts improving again and prices move higher, do you think over the last, the terrible patch of the last four to six quarters, you've put the worst for the industry behind you? Yeah, I think things as we move ahead, with little bit of policy help, things do look better. Thanks, Vivek. On that note, we'll say bye to you. That's the reason why sugar stocks are up. Balram Puccini, one of the leading companies in the sector, said prices will hit 24, 25 rupees by May, June this year. Volumes will be much lower. Volume sold will be much lower this year. The industry may produce no more than 14 million tons. However, from next year, he expects improvement. Next year, starting with about 18 million tons. That's his estimate. So both prices and volume should be trending higher from here. The reason why most of the sugar stocks have moved up today, of course, revenue the, has been biggest. The flow through for some of these commodity stocks is pretty strong in terms of price improvement. To the end. And as you were just asking, Vivek, I mean, sugar is coming out of what, a two, two and a half year bad cycle? Yeah, and if it gets a little bit of policy impetus, which would not be terribly undeserved in my eyes, uh, I think the sector can actually fly away. Uh, the sector does not fly despite uh, bottoming out slowly. I think the market has had the sense that the sector fundamentally is bottoming out. However, since the pol last couple of policy rubs have been on the wrong side for sugar, I think the sector has not got derated de or re-rated on the way up. That might need a little bit of policy help, as Vivek said. But... You know, at 14 million tons, you're not going to produce. I mean, if it is lower than this, you may as well shut down the sector. Uh, so it's not going to go a whole lot lower than this. Prices will be trended higher. So for people who've been accumulating Balram Puccini and Bajaj Hindustan and Triveni for the last few quarters, that is with the same hope that things are slowly troughing out. And come 2010, probably this sector might take off again. I think that's a reasonable view to take, but you never know with government policy. You know how it was last time the SAP ruling came in. Came in. So fingers crossed on that. But that said, you know, dips have been buying opportunities for investors for this sector and probably correctly so.